Now look north has been given exclusive access to a new unique science lab at the bottom of a mine. Warby Potash Mine in East Cleveland is almost a mile deep at 4,600 feet. Compare that to England's highest mountain, Scarfell Pike in Cumbria, which is just over 3,000 feet high, or the country's tallest building, London Shard, which is just 1,000 feet high. Well, scientists from all over the world are using the mind to try to find answers to some of the biggest questions in the universe, including, is there life on Mars? Jonathan Swingler sent us this report. They might look like miners, but they're not. They're scientists who travel three quarters of a mile down Bulby Potash Mine. We're now descending at 24 feet a second. It's going to take seven minutes to get to the bottom. Once here, it's a hot and dusty walk to where we need to be. At the bottom of Europe's deepest mine, this new laboratory could solve some of the biggest scientific questions. The head of the lab is researching dark matter. We're trying to be the first to prove that uh, what we think makes up most of the mass of the universe is, is particles. This is the best bet. When you look at the night sky, um, what we can see, the stars and the planets and, and things like that, uh, it really seems they make a small percentage of what's out there, something like 5%. The rest of it is missing. Um, uh, all the astronomers around the world and the particle physicists are wondering what it is. The best bet is particles, and it's a race to find out if that's true or not. It's taken two years to design and build this site, and there's a huge amount of work going on. Outside, in what's called the Mars Yard, some scientists are rehearsing a mission beneath the surface of the red planet. And what you can see behind you is a team practicing an expedition underground on Mars in caves or lava tubes. We want to go to these places because they're less extreme than the surface of Mars and they might tell us something about the possibility of life on the planet. So what they're doing is they're collecting samples, they're practicing science and they're also practicing operational constraints. How long do you spend out there on your expedition? Around the corner they're testing this device called Split. The small planetary impulse tool is funded by the UK Space Agency. It's hoped it'll eventually travel to Mars and establish if life existed there. What we'd ideally like to do is send a geologist with a hammer to Mars, but we're not going to do that for a very long time. So until we can do that, this is what we're trying to, um, what we're using in, in the interim, if you like. NASA are here too. What do you think of Bulby Potash Mine, the facility they, they've got here? I think it's awesome. So. Um, we hope to come here more often. We hope to see uh, little rovers uh, or rovers doing, um, and maybe astronauts doing some kind of training. They've been hard at work, but birthdays need to be celebrated, even if we are a thousand meters underground. Oh my Happy birthday to you. Jen gets a birthday cake, but no candles are allowed down here. There's going to be more scientists and activity down here in the coming years. Jonathan Swingler, BBC Look North, Bobby Potash Mine. You can still be a princess in a hard hat, can't you? You're watching Look North, there's still plenty to come tonight.